Boom! Welcome back everybody to The Perfect Bag. My name is Clint and we are here for another One Take Bag Review. And man, we got something great today. Boom! Wow! This, if you don't know, is the Conceal Pack from Brown Buffalo. I have been wanting to review this bag since I started the channel. I haven't had and I haven't owned a bag from Brown Buffalo ever. I've been following Brown Buffalo and Canvas Worker um, on Instagram forever. And I just haven't pulled the trigger and God, I don't know why, but I think it's because I've been waiting on the perfect version of the Conceal Pack backpack and it came along and I missed it. This one, I missed this one. This was a Huckberry collaboration with the Brown Buffalo and it came out and I was out of the country and whew, totally missed it. Recently, I got a chance to buy this secondhand. Thank you, by the way, you know who you are, thank you. Um, and I'm just so hyped. I love it, it is beautiful. Just take a minute and appreciate it. This just says to me, EDC backpack. This particular form factor, and you know, this form factor you can see a lot, right? It's, it's the GORUCK bullet, it's the, I mean, this is a little bigger, this is a 21 liter bag. Uh, you know what, y'all? I'm getting into this thing and I haven't even done my thing. So, you know what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews. I'm gonna gush over this bag just straight through in one take. I'm gonna kiss it, I'm gonna love on it, I'm gonna caress it. Um, you know, this is a, a parental advisory video. I just, I'm gonna tell you how much I love this bag for about 15 minutes. Um, anyway, we're gonna do a full walkthrough. We're gonna do interior and exterior of a conceal pack so you know what a conceal pack from Brown Buffalo is all about. At the end, I'm going to give you two things that I love about the bag, two things that I think could be better about the bag, and then an overall recommendation. Who is this the perfect bag for? Spoiler alert, it's a lot of people. All right, so let's get into it. Who is the Brown Buffalo? The Brown Buffalo is a bag company that was founded by a gentleman who has decades of bag experience, designing and consulting on backpacks for some of the biggest companies out there. Okay, so started up this company, and by the way, incredible follow on Instagram, like a real dude, and you know, openly shares about his life, and um, yeah, awesome, real craftsman, real dude. I'm gonna link the uh, Instagram account for Brown Buffalo and also for Canvas Worker and just yeah, if you got the if you got the IG, if you got the social media, follow along. Cool stuff for sure. Okay, the bag. Exterior walkthrough first. This is X50. The bag itself, the conceal pack, has come in a variety of materials. X pack materials, uh, Cordura material, uh, all kinds of stuff following the same basic form factor. So, you know, a lot of the best bag makers out there, they, they land on a trademark design. They land on a design that works for their brand that says who they are, whether that's, you know, Recycled Firefighter, Go Ruck, or um, whoever, right? You know, Evergoods, Brown Buffalo. They land on their bag. This is their bag. And then they start to produce it in multiple colorways and multiple materials and multiple um, sizes and with multiple different feature sets. So this bag usually comes in this 21 liter size in a variety of materials. It is a sweet spot for everyday carry. This particular one, X50 Tropic Multicam. It's got AquaGuard zippers. It's got uh, Tropic Multicam zipper poles as well, paracord. Um, it has attachment points here and here. I've attached some lightning cables um, to the side of my bag. 
Um, it has a little attachment point with a leash on it right here for you to add accessories. Another one down here. It has a very subtle logo right here. It says uh, Huck, Huckberry times the brown buffalo. Usually this is just where the brown buffalo logo goes, bottom left-hand corner, very subtle. As with any um, multi-cam or camo fabric, uh, the particular cut of fabric is gonna make every bag look slightly different. I think this one is a particularly attractive cut of Tropic Multicam. On the top of this bag, you have a really nice grab handle. It is uh, folded over seatbelt material that is kind of stitched and double-sided to give it a textured look and a really strong carry. It is the right size for a hand grip and it's just really well done. You don't need to buy a secondary handle or paracord wrap or anything for this handle. It's really good and it's really comfortable. On the back, what do we have going on? We have a nice Duraflex sternum strap. We have D-ring attachment points. We have a vertical luggage pass-through, which I know is a selling point for a lot of folks. And we have a really comfortable harness system and a very well padded back. Um, you know, oftentimes I'll get a really cool bag like this and have to quibble over like, why didn't you do the straps right? You can see the spacing on the top is perfect. You can see that uh, we've got lots of padding. We've got nice straps that are ergonomically designed. Yeah, they just designed it right. They didn't, they didn't do the frustrating thing that so many bag designers do, which is give you a bag that's almost right and has one or two like really bad pain points. This is well done. Well done, comfortable, fun to carry, good size. The bag does stand up on its own. It leans a little bit, but it stands up on its own with zero issues. Great, again, Check, 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 check. Padding, vertical luggage pass-through. Nice straps, stands up on its own. Cool colorways, nice grab handle, attachment points, AquaGuard zippers. Hmm, all right. So we've done the exterior walkthrough. I wanna get into the interior and always, when we do the interior, we jump into camera number two. All right, everybody, here we are in camera number two, and we are going to take a look at everything that makes this bag special. So interior of the bag, the first thing we have is a vertical pocket on the side here. Whee! It's really nice. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on inside this pocket. Well, the first thing is we've got a hook and loop compatible back panel here. I've slid in a vertical organizer, shoink, I picked one that matched the interior of this part of the bag. And so this is just a little vertical pouch from Alpaca. I have first aid supplies in that. And then you have a key leash. And as always, I use key leashes for AirPods. Okay, so drop that in there. Then you have the main compartment of the bag. But before we get into the main compartment, let's check out the laptop compartment. One of my pet peeves with backpacks, backpack makers, is that sometimes they'll put the backpack zipper behind the straps and you have to go like that to get to the backpack or to get to the, to get to the laptop compartment. Not so on this bag. You have two zippers, so you can orient your uh, zippers at the bottom or at the top or at the halfway point. I prefer the top. Unzip the AquaGuard zipper for a laptop compartment. Good job and pull out your laptop. Nice. What do we have going on in here? Yellow X-Pack, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then hook and loop compatible felt right here. Nice. All right, time for us to check out the main event, the main compartment. Oh, so nice. Full clamshell on this bag. Oh my God, look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. It's just so, so, so pretty. All right, what do we have going on here? First off, this is one of the pouches that came with the bag. Excuse me, that you bought an addition to the bag. Very nice. 
I've got my gimbal in here and my gimbal related accessories. So we'll zip that up, set it off to the side. This is hook and loop compatible on the back, this felt. So I've tossed in a book pouch with a tablet holder. This book pouch is made by Green Room, but Brown Buffalo does make compatible accessories for their conceal pack. So no worries there. So we'll take that out for a second. And you can see this whole back panel and the bottom of the bag here, both hook and loop compatible. Now let's look at this. On the front, you've got two large drop pockets here, two very large drop pockets. And Brown Buffalo sells things that you can drop into, kind of inserts to um, customize, but I've just used as is. I think it looks really good. I've got a pencil pouch where I've uh, put some cords and I'm using one of these as a bottle pocket holder because there are no exterior water bottle pockets. So I'm just using the interior one. Excellent. And then you've got a really nice see-through pocket here. And I've just put in some blue light blocking glasses and my multi-tool. Good phone pocket up here too. All right. So that's it. That's the bag. And good Lord, she is beautiful. So meet me back at camera number one. So, wow, right? This is... It just screams backpack. It just screams, you know, this is what a backpack should be. This is what a backpack is all about. Just gorgeous. Wow, super, super, super premium. Okay, so we need to get into it. I can't just gush about the bag. I gotta tell you two things that I love about the bag. Two things, not so much. So. The first thing that I absolutely love about this bag is the size. It is a sweet spot and not just 21 liters. Yes, 21 liters is a sweet spot, but you'll see when I wear this bag for you at the end of this video, it just fits right for an adult. Now, if you are a smaller person, it might feel a little bit big, but not, not outlandishly so. But for an average sized adult, this particular form factor and size is going to just hit a sweet spot that you're going to love. Okay, first thing I love is certainly, certainly the size of the conceal pack from Brown Buffalo. It is a great EDC backpack. The second piece that I really love is the craftsmanship of the bag. It, so the design of the bag is deceptively simple. The craftsmanship is off the charts like it is tight it is made so well the material choices are all perfect i mean the there's a couple of pops of contrast the zipper pulls are exactly the right color the the bright yellow i mean look at this so here's here's what i'm telling you inside here you've got this bright yellow x-pack you have these little tabs on the pocket that are made of a rubber material, tiny black on black branding, it says Brown Buffalo. The stitching and all of this material here is in a green that pulls forward the green from the Tropic Multicam on the front. The felt material here for the hook and loop accessories on the back is a brown that again, echoes the Tropic Multicam. Like, eh, it's just really well done. The materials choices and the design. So great job, Brown Buffalo. Like, and you know it, but great job. Okay, two things that I think could be better about the bag. Well, you know, it's almost perfect. I'm not gonna lie. It, it is a great, great bag. Now, here's where we get into quibbling. I am not one who loves hook and loop back panels on backpacks. Now there are people out there who are gonna just murder me for that. Like it, I know that customizing the interior of a backpack with hook and loop is like all the rage. Admin panels, sticky morale patches, um, you know, book panels like this one. I mean, I get it, I get it. Like, cool. But I'd almost just prefer organization back there. 
Like I'd almost prefer a couple of side pockets and two pockets on the back of the bag or a slip pocket and a zippered pocket up top. Personal preference, not the style of the company. And I understand the choice. So, uh, but I think the average consumer out there, not the super user from the carry community, but the average consumer out there uh, probably looks at that hook and loop back panel and says, you know, what do I do with that? So a quibble, a quibble for sure. All right. That's the first thing that I don't like about the bag, or I should say that I think could be a little bit better about the bag. The second thing is that, and again, personal style, personal choices. I'm beginning to ask a lot of questions about these vertical pockets. And I've got a lot of bags that have them. The North Seeker has a vert vertical pocket. This bag has a vertical pocket. The Recycled Firefighter bags have vertical pockets. There's a lot of them that do. I'm beginning to ask a lot of questions of myself about, you know, do I love that? And the answer that I'm landing on is not as much as I think. Now, aesthetically, the vertical pocket looks a ton better than a horizontal pocket or two horizontal pockets. GORUX solved this by kind of giving it their bags that kind of trademark slash down the front and done a halfway drop, drop pocket that has kind of a three quarter slash. A little bit better looking than the, you know, air half pocket thing going on there. Um, but yeah, I mean, if I were to want this to actually be my perfect bag, and it's close for a backpack, like it is close. I think I'd switch out the vertical front pocket for a um, horizontal pocket or a diagonal pocket and add in a quick access pocket on the top of the bag. Um, but I'm quibbling because who is this the perfect bag for? Honestly, almost everyone. The only thing that's going to set you off about this bag is the price. Um, it could be pricey. These are handmade, beautiful, beautiful bags. Um, and they're worth the money, like really worth the money. So if you're looking for something in the, you know, 20-ish liter range for a laptop and a daily carry, this needs to be on your list of bags that you go and look at because it is that good. It really is that good. Now, will I set down my Air City Pack and pick up this? Will I set down my Green Room North Seeker and pick up this? To be decided. I loved testing this bag. I loved carrying it. Um, and I think it's just dead sexy. So, all right. This is, I believe, hopping straight into my top 10 laptop backpacks that you can buy on the market right now today. And I think you should click the link in the bio and just take a peek at what they got going on with the conceal pack over at Brown Buffalo. All right, everybody. Thank you so, so much. I hope that you enjoyed the review. If you did, please click that like button. You know it helps the channel. And tell your friends about the perfect bag. All right, everybody. Thanks for the support as always. And we will... See you next time. Bye for now.